Um, so, one thing I want to say right off the bat, I am completely and utterly stupid. So, people that have been watching so far will know that I've been quite critical of the game because they've taken out, I said that they've taken out um, the ability to save in between um, individual screens. Turns out, I'm stupid, and I need to use the option which is save and quit, not just return to map. So, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Um, so I have actually been back. I spent a bit of time yesterday, last last night, to uh, just get myself back to where I was. So uh, everybody on YouTube, uh, we don't have to watch anything uh, again multiple times. Anyway, without further ado, let's um, we'll try them with the music again. Music's a bit, eh, I felt so far, but all right. So it's this one. And um, we were trying to do this the other day when we was last streaming. And that's sort of the thing we need to do to like get past this bit. So, um, yeah. So I kind of need to do that, but I need to upwards diagonal. I don't seem to kind of like get enough height unless I dash up. After like dashing on the top of that puffer fish. Yeah, okay, that could work. That could work a lot better actually. Of course, it doesn't help if I push the puffer fish off the uh, camera off the screen. sort of hard to get where I need to be. Was I holding diagonal? I was holding diagonal. So that means I'm not high enough. And I'm just going to do stupid things like that. way too early there. Jeez. Didn't even push the puffer onto the spring. Now I'm just being like massively too early. What's going on here? What's, what's wrong with me? I can't get the timing down right now to knock this onto the spring. Maybe I'm traveling too far to the right when I hit the fish. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe I need to be kind of like marginal. To how much I travel. I just enable god mode and skip through the spikes. That'd be good. Yeah, one diagonal again. See, that's just far too early if I do that approach. If I stay on the spring a little bit, possibly not. Um, it's 
dumb. That's dumb. I don't know what else I can do, though. Because... What else can I do? Let me out! That's, that's the only thing I can think. Oh man, got stuck on the spring. Is that I... I don't know to go too early. So dash up. And then I hold right. And it explodes me just like directly right. But it's, it's getting that dash up. Fish be trolling. Puffer fish be trolling. Be hating. Alright, so I was holding right, but it's still. Alright. Let's try and perfect that. I mean, might be on something. But dash up though to give myself enough time to. that at all. It's like classic knock. I do something and then I can't replicate what I just did. So we spend another half an hour trying to do what we did before. I only need to do it once and then the circle resumes. Something, right? Why does he get stuck on the spring? That's weird. It's too far ahead of the spring. Didn't get my up dashing in time. All right, I'm diagonal dashing there, and I want to. Just do a 
normal dash. And I need to like fake out to the right a little bit and then come back into the left. If I go too much too far to the right. Oh my goodness. Alright, progress is being made though. This is promising. This is promising. That's not. That's death. I need to kind of like, as soon as I touch the puffer fish, I need to be dashing. Did I do diagonal? No. man happy thursday to you oh that kind of worked better okay different approach different strap let's try and knock it down lower to give ourselves a bigger arc but uh, just preparing for work. I'm over halfway through my working day. Not everybody gets to play play games in their lunch break, eh? Hey? Joys of working from home. This puffer fish is absolutely killing me, though. To be fair, this is not good. <laughs> oh dear. will bounce off it. You see, I, I almost got something new down there, and now I'm like, rather than going back to what I was doing before, I'm now sort of like devoted and committed to like trying this new strat, and it's not really working. I need to go back to what I was doing previously, and try and build consistency, I think. It's like getting at the top there. The, the top bit is like this. You, you go too high. Either too high or too low. I can just not. I can't just get it like perfected. It pushes you up at sort of like a. Or at like a 45 degree incline, the puffer fish does. So, unless you hit it kind of like quite low, it pushes you up into the spikes, which is. I'm too early then for the spring. Oh my god. Going too early. 
Come on, Mark. Let's, let's Bacardi and Coke do it. Do it. Brutal. I can't. I can't get away from the fish enough when I'm going up on that right hand side. So I thought that was the one. So you started your new job, you haven't had time to play a stream. That sucks, man. But I know the feeling. Um, if it wasn't for like working at home um, for myself, I probably wouldn't be able to maintain my YouTube channel because I do a lot of my YouTube recording um, in my lunch break so yeah if I wasn't working from home I would really struggle because normally I only get sort of about nine hours of free time a week so I don't know I like to stream so uh, thanks to 10 bits though, Lassie appreciate it thank you very much Man. Can I hang? Yeah, work's a bummer, but you know, at the same time we all need to work. So we can continue to a uh, nine till seven shift. Oh jeez, ten hours. I used to I used to do twelve hour shifts um, back in my younger days uh, when I was at university. Like one week days, one week nights, and absolutely killed me. Now I'm very much a nine till five thirty kind of guy. Oh, man. All right, you're a car salesperson. Is it uh, is a dealership or just sort of like a private owned garage? Right, so I'm avoiding it now, but I'm not hitting the freaking puffer fish. I know you said oh, I wasn't prepared for it. I know you said dealership, but what I mean is like a sort of like a main sort of dealer, or sort of like an independent who sells like varying makes of cars. That, that's how I should have structured my question. I do apologise, which probably a bit jargon, jarbled, jumbled up. Even. In a dealership. I'd suck at sales, man. Um, I kind of like my job where I don't have to interact with many people. I'm my own boss kind of thing because I'm the only person in my department, so... I just, you know, keep myself to myself about 120, 120 miles away from my office, so. It's a bit lonely at times, but, you know, get my own space, do what I want to do. I'm um, just, I'm reverting back to that silly strat again. Secretly saving for a new PC, nice. I could really do with like a proper PC. This is actually my work, this is actually my work PC. Um, I was lucky enough to to persuade my boss to get me uh, an i7. So I just uh, bought my own graphics cards and things, and upgrade, done a few upgrades. But yeah, I should really build a gaming PC at some point. 
I was like, well, I, I work in software and uh, I'm writing all this cool code and I, I need a beefy computer. Hint, hint. <laughs> oh my goodness. This level. This is probably the third hardest level I've come across so far. I can't get past the first freaking thing. Seriously, though, like the, the previous seven or eight before this were relatively simple. It's like, okay, we're giving you an easy time. Did it then as well, I wasn't prepared for it. But yep, yeah, we, uh, so we gave you an easy time, but now we're going to uh, really test you. Uh, see you in an hour on the next screen. Your potato laptop. Yeah, I got a couple of them as well. Laptops are not the best thing to... Uh, I don't think they're the best things to stream and game on. But... Oh, this is the freaking fish. But yeah, everybody has to uh, work to the means, I guess. I can't even like get back down from the puffer fish, I don't think. That's not going to happen, is it? to actually GLaDOS. <laughs> Every time. Why? Why am I just so unprepared for that? <laughs> I guess I've failed so many times that when I actually do do it the one or two times, I'm like, hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, you're already committed yourself to failure, so there's no point in dashing, Nock. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I think I would... Um I think I've seen people say it's actually harder than Seasides, so for average players, it's pretty darn tough. I've done all the Seasides myself, but I wouldn't consider myself a, um, a good player, nonetheless. Alright, so now I'm dashing and I'm missing the fish. What's that? What was that garbage? I'm just gonna chill on the spring for a bit, Mr. Fish. Alright, I get ya. I haven't watched Def do it yet, um, but um, I think I saw that his stream was like seven hours long. Um, I know. What's that garbage? Why is it. I know TGH, uh, it took him about four and a half hours, so, you know, anything under 60 hours for me will probably be good. I did it, but the spring was like massively behind where I want, where I needed it to be. Go figure.
What, of like the, the main story less? Chapter 1's not too bad, to be honest. It's not very brutal at all. The worst thing about Chapter 1 is the, like, the time blocks when you... Uh, Old Sight's Chapter 2. Um, City's Chapter 1. If you're talking Old Sight, the worst bit about that's probably the chase, but... It's actually not that bad. Fish. Final boss right here. Puffer fish. Final boss. Really too close to the fish. Huh. And I forgot to dash. Of course, I did. You know, it looked like I might have actually done it that time. But, no. <sighs> Again, I need to remember to dash. Please knock. It's really not that difficult. You move your thumb and you press the circle button. City is, um, I'll say, city's not too bad. Um, it's only the, the word, the only bad thing about that is the blocks, which when you stand on them, they move on their own. But they're really not that bad. Not really a difficult mechanic to kind of get used to. The only thing you've got to worry about on them is if you jump off a block before it comes to a standstill, the momentum carries. So if you're going sideways and you jump over a moving block, you are going to fly over the other side. everything look easy I, I admire his sort of like death in a way though is he's like such he's, he's a perfectionist and especially like when he speed runs games he he, just, he puts so much effort and time into like practicing them I mean I've I've sp speed run Celeste quite a few times and I'm like my best at the minute is like double his time <laughs> it's crazy it's the whole... I think the key to speedrunning Celeste, though, is you've got to learn the movement tech. There is so much movement tech in the game. Like the wave dashing, the ultra dashing, the hyper dashing, all that sort of thing. For average Joe, who plays the freaking game, you don't need to know those things, so... And I'm never ever going to be, like, a real competitive speedrunner. So... Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, I, admi I do admire, one of the things I do admire about speedruns is the, the amount of time and the, the amount of um, effortlessness they make things, they make games look. I always I always questioned him doing his, um, I asked him one day, was, that is Kirby 64 run, because Kirby 64 just looks like a, I don't know, it almost, <laughs> to me when I first started watching it, it almost looks like a bit of a joke run, because all you're doing is just like, you're just flying over the top of the screen. I thought, ah, everybody, everybody can... 
everybody can do this, but there's like loads of different factors you said that come into it, like depending on what sort of gradient you're running on, depends on how fast Kirby moves and to do with jumping and to do with like spitting your powers out and all that. Okay, this is a bit more involved. Fair play. Keep marginally missing this fish. And then I forget to do that. But once I'm consistently hitting it, but I'm certainly hitting it a lot more than I was before. Yeah, that was my mistake. See, the, my problem is there. The problem is there, right? I'm going too fast for the spring. So how do I slow the spring down? Or how do I... Sorry, how do I, how do I slow down or speed the spring up? Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Was I trying this strap before though? Excuse me. Can I delay on top of this guy here? Ah, it's got a Gotta hit it when he's up there. I can't double jump on him. That's for sure, but. It's tough. and now I've lost all my rhythm of what I was doing before if I try and revert back to the other strap. It's just like getting pixel perfect on that right hand side. It's not easy. Can I try and uh
I'm going to do do it. I'm not anticipating doing it. The spring's just moving too slowly, though. I need to work out a way I can delay myself. Double hit that into the spring consistently so that I can then use my dash to come up, which will hopefully. All right. I don't know how I was doing it before now. Did I just like proper cheese it before? I'm guessing I did. Because now I can't hit it on, to double hit it onto the spring. Did that make a difference? No, it didn't. <laughs> I got excited then. <laughs> I was like, I done did a thing! I was like, oh no, actually. Badlands fault, man. Why would you have to abandon us? I blame it all on her. She didn't want to come and pay her respects to Grandma. to uh, do this godforsaken thing all on our own then. It's all her fault. Well. going crazy. I think the problem is there. I'm hitting the fish. It's not quite come all the way up. If that makes sense at all. It's like exploding too quickly. And that's why it's not giving me the correct arc that I need. I 
All right, Lassie, no worries. Thank you very much for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate the host. Thank you very much for the bits. Enjoy the working day. If that's impossible. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Have fun. Also, bye, Mrs. Lassie. differently there, but it certainly felt a lot different. Failing consistently or consistently failing? I don't know there's a difference between the two things I just said there. So I was just thinking about that. Uh, it's based on something subs sometimes says, which is. Uh, are you working hard or hardly working? It's really tough though when you struggle to get something down consistently because it's really hard to practice and really hard to you know, progress. You can't do something consistently. <laughs> I need a coffee. Um, it's very difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. there if I could actually like just jump normally off his head. I don't know as well why that puffer fish sometimes gets stuck on the spring. That doesn't help. That is no assistance to me. able to jump off the top of it. That was it. Did 
do you see the distance I got there? I would have probably been able to, if I'd have really been ready for that, I probably would have been able to get the double dash crystal there. Rather than waiting for the spring, which is probably what I'm meant to be doing. There's like minimal room though. I think I need to like get far enough away from the fish on the right, but then not too far so I can actually come back into the left. It's like insane. This is insane. Yeah. Unless. Surely that's not what I'm meant to do. No, because it's... I, I was thinking, do I need to wave dash off the top of this and use the explosion to... I'd have gone for the spring. Damn you, fish! The problem is it's being able to adapt quick enough to go from one scenario to the next. So it's whether or not I'm far enough across to get the pink dash crystal, or if I'm not far enough, I've then got to adapt and think, right, I've got to get this spring instead. And it's being able, to, for, for me personally, to mentally make that decision quick enough and put it into action. That's what I'm finding tough. Excuse me. See, I made the wrong decision.
Oh, it's happening today, boys. After all this trying today, it's going to amount to nothing. too far out to the right then I can't get back to the left so it's catch 22 I need to do a straight rather than a diagonal oh I missed the spring are you kidding I actually managed to I actually managed to think about what I was doing and get in the right position Inch across. Didn't move at all to the side there. That was it. All right. I think I'm getting this down now, finally. Jeez. Need to slowly move to the right as I'm in that top position. Too much to the right. Diagonal dash in. Please knock. Just stop. I can't work out how to... How much is enough? That was enough. That was too much, in fact. Jeez, did you see the distance I got on that one? I said that in the last stream. If, uh, if I've said anything bad about those jellyfish, I take it all back. I think I'd much rather have a jellyfish than a puffer fish right now. You know, the puffer fish seem harder to manipulate and control. I 
if I just like outrightly hold freaking yeah it's too much I can't just hold right that's what I was wondering I may not have progressed in screens today. At least I have progressed in trying, in almost learning what to do. Which is the positive to take here. I don't think we're gonna, we're almost out of time now for the stream. That's my lunch break is just about over. Um. But yeah, we've certainly made progress, although we haven't progressed. So, yeah, um, it's going to bring us to the end of the stream today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. So, it's been a while since I've done one of these lunchtime streams. Um, you know, back in the day, it was the only time of day that I streamed. So, yeah, it's a little bit uh, nostalgia streaming again at this time of day. Um, I may stream tomorrow, we'll see. But if not, we will be back on Saturday night. On the usual sort of slot around 9, 9.30pm. 9 um, um, I will probably be doing more Celeste may even have a bit of racing on Saturday night. I've not seen whether or not the um, I've not seen yet whether or not the F2 race in the Frag Nation League is going ahead. I don't think they've opened entries for that yet so uh, I'll check that and then we'll have to uh, see and make stream plans based on that. But um, yeah. Thank you very much everybody for tuning in. Thanks Lassie for the bits. Thanks also for the host. Um, until next time, though, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya. <laughs>